if two triangles are congruent, that means they are exactly the same, they are identical. There are four rules that we need to know, four things we need to look out for to check if we have congruent triangles. So these first two triangles here are congruent, they're the same, because they've got three sides the same. They've got a four centimetre, an eight centimetre side, and a 12 centimetre side. So if all three sides are the same, that means they must be congruent, they must be identical. And we call that side, 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 or just S, S, S. If we have, two, if we know two sides and the angle in between them, so two sides and the angle in between them, again, the triangles must be congruent. So we call that side, angle side, or SAS, so two lengths and the angle in between them. Equally, if we know two angles and the side in between them, angle, side, angle, the triangles must be congruent. They must be identical. And if we have a right angle triangle and we know the hypotenuse and one other side, that is another rule that would mean the triangles are congruent. So it's a right angle triangle. It's got a 90 degree angle and the hypotenuse is the same, and we know one other side. So they are the rules we need to know for what makes a congruent triangle. These are the only rules we are looking for. So to prove that two triangles are identical, to prove they're congruent, we need to show that three sides are the same, side, 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 a side two sides with the angle in between them, two angles with the side in between them, or we've got a right angle triangle and the hypotenuse and one other side are equal. You'll notice that angle, angle, angle isn't one of these rules. If all three angles are the same, the triangles would be similar, but one could be an enlargement of the other. Let's look at some questions. Here we've got ABCD is a parallelogram, and we need to prove that triangle ABD, so the triangle on the top, is congruent to the triangle on the bottom. So we need to prove, we need to get to a position where we can say either all three sides are equal, two sides with an angle in between them, two angles with a side in between them, or a right angle triangle with the hypotenuse on one other side. So we need to prove that at least one of these is the case. So let's look at what we know about a parallelogram. So we can say the opposite sides in a parallelogram are equal. So I can say AD equals BC. And I need to give a reason for each stage of my working. So AD and BC are the same length, and that's because opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. And we can do the same with AB and CD. So again, a, B and C, D are equal for exactly the same reason. So we could write again, opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. And we've got options now. We can either say that B, D is equal in both triangles because it's common to both. So we could say B, D is common to both. And therefore, we've got side, side, side. So we've got side, side, side. Therefore, they're congruent. We could have also said that the two angles opposite each other in a parallelogram are equal. In which case, we could have gone with side, angle, side. And we could have also gone with alternate angles here 
and the opposite angles, I'm going with angle side angle. So there are multiple ways of answering this question, but we need to give a reason for each stage of our working and arrive at one of these reasons why the triangles are congruent. Let's look at another one. If you want to pause the video and give it a go, you can. Otherwise, keep watching. So we've got ABC is an isosceles triangle. M is the midpoint of AC. Prove that ABM, triangle ABM, is congruent to BCM. So what do we know? It's an isosceles triangle. So AB and BC must be equal. So AB is equal to BC because two sides of the isosceles triangle are equal. We can also say that BM is common to both is common to both triangles, so they've both got the length BM in them. And, well, M is the midpoint of AC, so AM is equal to MC. The two halves must be equal because M's the middle. And that's because M is a midpoint. So AB is equal to BC, BM is common to both, and AM equals MC, so we have side, side, side. So all three sides are equal, so the two triangles must be congruent. And again, we could have answered it differently. We could have said the two angles at the base of an isosceles triangle are equal, and gone with side, angle, side. But as long as you arrive at one of these conclusions, either side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, or a right angle triangle with the hypotenuse on one other side. And another question. So M is the midpoint of AC, and it's also the midpoint of BD. Prove that ADM is congruent. So ADM is congruent to BCM. So they prove the two triangles are congruent. So we've been told that M is the midpoint. So AM and MC must be equal because M is a midpoint. And again, DM and MB must be equal because M is the midpoint. And we can also say we've got opposite angles here. So these two angles, AMD, so angle AMD is equal to angle BMC. And they're opposite angles. Opposite angles are equal, or vertically opposite angles are equal. So we have side, angle, side. So again, we've proved the two triangles are congruent because we've arrived at one of our rules. And one more question. So pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready for the answer. So AD is parallel and equal in length to BC. So we've got two parallel lines and they're equal in length. Prove that ADE is congruent to BCE. So we'll start with AD is equal to BC. So we've been told in the question, AD and BC are equal in length. So we can just write given. They've told us in the question. 
so we don't have to give any reason we just say that they've told us it they've given it us in the question and we can say that so we've got alternate angles so we can say that this angle and this angle are alternate angles so DAE, angle DAE is equal to angle BCE. And they are alternate angles. Alternate angles are equal. And we've got another pair of alternate angles. So ADE and CBE. So angle ADE is equal to angle CBE and they are also alternate angles. Alternate angles are equal. So the same as above. And so we've got angle side angle. Angle side angle so we've proved they are congruent. We've arrived at one of our rules.